Hello, everyone. My name is Aaron Spears, young adult librarian at the Westlake Porter Public Library. My colleague Robin and I have been putting together curated lists over the last couple of weeks since we've been we've been closed to the public to highlight some of the digital access you get with a Westlake Porter Public Library card. We are specifically highlighting films that you can get both through the uh, online streaming platforms of Canopy and also Hoopla. If you don't have a Westlake Porter Public Library card, head on over to our website. You can sign up for a digital card, a couple quick links, and you'll be streaming and borrowing uh, music, books, comic books, graphic novels, movies, all of that in just a few clicks. This week, we wanted to highlight something very specific. It is National Library Week. This was originally sponsored by the American Library Association in 1958. And under normal circumstances, we would be celebrating in the public space that is the Westlake Porter Public Library. We can't do that quite the same this year. So we're trying to bring a little bit of the celebration to you through different social media posts and different things throughout the week, digitally speaking. Uh, and this is one of those. We wanted to highlight a few films that actually prominently feature the public library and the institution that is the public library through uh, some documentaries, some shorts, some fictional films, a foreign language film, a sci-fi fantasy film. So click on the links on this post to get through to some of those recommendations. So the film I wanted to highlight today is by one of my favorite documentary filmmakers. So again, I'm a little biased here. I work at a library and this guy covered the library. It's called Ex Libris, the New York Public Library. Frederick Wiseman has spent his entire career, which goes all the way back to the mid 60s, with one of his first documentaries called High School that was just chronicling a public high school. Since then, he's gone on to make, I want to say, like 40 or 50 different documentaries, and he's always doing the same approach. He's just chronicling uh, public institutions or just the public at large as well. He's done National Gallery. He's done Monrovia, Indiana. He's done at Berkeley. He's done Boxing Gym. Well, just a couple years ago, he decided to chronicle the public institution that is the New York Public Library. His style, though, I think is refreshing in this day and age. He doesn't do the, the flashy, manipulative style that you get with a lot of like Netflix documentaries. So what he does is he just sets down his camera and he just captures as best he can the day-to-day -day lives of the participants of whatever he's chronicling. So in the case of the New York Public Library system... He chronicles the public talks that go on, the kids' reading labs. Uh, there's even board meetings. Like, there's a whole extended sequence of just, like, what a board meeting is like to run a public institution. There's speakers that come in in the movie. You see Richard Dawkins right at the beginning. You see Elvis Costello. Patty Smith is in there. You see what the library means to just the communities that it serves as well. There's sections of the film that deal with uh, special branches for those with disabilities. There's uh, classes that are all in Braille. There's sign language classes. There's reading groups. There's, there's chamber music performances. There's slam poetry which is one of my favorite sections of this film. The way that he does his setup, though, too, is it's more uh, an elaboration of personal experience. So you really get the feeling that you're just hanging out in the New York Public Library, which is perfect for National Library Week, especially when we cannot go out to the actual space that is the public library right now. You can kind of digitally hang out with it for a little over three hours. Yes, this movie is a little over three hours. It's perfect for those of us that have a lot of free time on our hands right now and miss the library. It brings a semblance of what the library really means to its patrons and to the public at large. Towards the end of the film, uh, one of the librarians kind of waxes philosophical a little bit about the role of the public library um, as a cultural institution and says that, you know, access to information is one of the great solutions to inequality of our times. Uh, and I think that's a really wonderful sentiment and part of the reason why we celebrate libraries as a public, public institution uh, throughout the week of National Library Week.